Now, hundreds of former Detroiters are returning to the D this week. That's yeah, all a part of Detroit Homecoming, and this year's event is getting a lot of attention. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith live in downtown Detroit for us this morning. And Matt, what does this event mean for the city? But really, it kind of kickstarts those connections and ultimately the investments. That's why they're actually going to be having an opening night gala here at Little Caesar Arena. Hundreds of expats coming back to Detroit. But whether or not you're invited to this thing, don't worry because we're all seeing the effects of this. Whether it's the Michigan Urban Farming Initiative, the Skillman Foundation, or the Foundation Hotel, if you look very far, you'll find an investment, a change, something linked to the now annual Detroit homecoming celebration. Detroit's a big enough city, it makes a difference in the world, and it's a small enough city that an individual could make a difference. Emily Gale is one of the hundreds of expats that are being brought back to Detroit this year. Years ago, she started the Say Nice Things About Detroit campaign. It wasn't a slogan, it was a, when we came with, up with Say Nice Things About Detroit, it was survival. But it didn't last forever. Once a mainstay, her business left, she left, but her heart never did. According to Jim Hayes, that's something many Detroiters share. To me, the, the stunning thing about the success of, of, of Homecoming is the remarkable emotional connection that Detroit has with its people. Not just its local citizenry, but those who came from here and moved on. People like Roderick Hardiman. If you can't be here full time, figure out how to have an impact. He'll be back inside the velodrome, one of a dozen plus locations the Homecoming is set to happen at this year. He's pitching how he too was once an expat. Now he's back. And making a difference. Seeing that it works, that people say I can come make it work too. So while you may not be part of this year's events, don't fret. Chances are we'll all see the benefits. They just keep pulling more, more and more people into what's going on at Detroit Homecoming. Plenty of people expected to be here later on today. What I love about all those individual stories, you have people like Emily who comes back all the time now but isn't a permanent resident but just kind of never really felt like her heart left. Roderick, he's back for good. And now he's trying to convince other people, hey, if you're not coming back, bring your money back. Put the investment in there. Change the city. We'll, of course, be live streaming a couple of events throughout the week for Detroit Homecoming. Keep an eye on our Facebook page. But for now, we're live in Detroit this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.